What's up guys, Adam Middlesworth here. Welcome to the channel. In this video, I'm going to build a real estate Facebook ad that actually works. So uh, if you guys are new to the channel, I create a new video every single day on Facebook ads, Instagram ads, um, follow-up strategies, retargeting strategies, basically anything digital marketing. We run a real estate and mortgage a Facebook ad agency. So if you guys are real estate and mortgage, great. If you guys are digital marketing, great. I've got something for all of you. If you want to subscribe, click on the subscribe button. But without further ado, let's get going. All right, guys, so we're in the computer here, and I'm going to go over everything step by step, what campaign objective we're using. Um, we're going to go over the ad targeting. We're going to go over uh, the actual ad copy, the ad images, what you can do. And then at the end, I'm going to show you a, uh, basically demonstrate you a retargeting strategy that we'll use for this actual ad. So first of all, the campaign objective here, what we want to, usually what we use is, um, we actually use a lot of these. So we use traffic, we use engagement, uh, we use conversions, we use lead generation and messages. The best one right now, um, for most of you, especially if you're new to Facebook advertising, just use lead generation. Um, it's what's called a lead form, uh, which is essentially a landing page. It's really simple. You you just grab their information directly on Facebook, right? So you, if you want to grab name, email, phone number, you can add a custom, um, you know, things that you, you can add a drop down menu, like you can add their address, you can add a whole bunch of things. And lead generation is just the easiest one to do. So we're just going to scroll down here, uh, campaign name. We are going to use a listing for this ad. And you might say, oh, well, obviously you're going to use a listing. It's real estate. Um, but at the end, I'm going to show you how you can actually use this. It's a little bit different than what most people are doing. And we're going to show you how to do a little bit of retargeting to maximize your results. So we're just going to call this whatever the address is. Uh, I like to say lead form, so campaign objective and then the date. We're just going to click on continue here. We're going to choose, uh, the ad set is where you're going to choose uh, your Facebook page, also the audience and the ad budget. So we're just going to stick with Adam Middlesworth. You're obviously going to choose your real estate or mortgage page. Um, from here, we're just going to scroll down. We're going to say people who live in this location. It defaults to everyone in this location. So we're just going to say people who live in this location. We're going to say Frisco, Texas. Scroll down here. I like to do 10 mile radius in Frisco. Um, then we're going to choose the age. We're going to go to 27. And then we're going to keep this at 75. We're going to keep this all here. We are going to add English because that's the only language that I speak. And then from here, we're going to do detailed targeting, right? So um, this is where you're going to go into, hey, are they interested in Zillow or Realtor.com or are they interested in moving? Uh, we can exclude the National Association of Realtors, which I usually do as well. Association of Real. We're going to do that. and do the realtors as well. All right, so now that we've added the National Association, National Association of Realtors, real estate brokers, we've excluded them, we can see that our audience is still pretty large here. So I'm gonna go back up to Frisco. I would rather have a small radius. If you use, um, if you use a city like this, you can't go under 10, but cool little trick here, if you drop the pen right next to it, and use that as a location, you can go under 10 miles. So we're gonna see five, we're gonna see, we're gonna stay right at about 110,000 if that works for me. We're gonna do no interest targeting at the beginning. Uh, I usually like to, especially for the ad that we're doing and you'll see why, um, I like to just kind of keep it open at the beginning. Scrolling down here, we're gonna choose placements. I like to edit the placements for lead generation. It just allows for Facebook feed, stories and instant articles. Um, the only thing I click off here is instant articles, marketplace, and that's it. All right, so we've been testing this lately. We've been doing Facebook feeds, Instagram feeds, and both stories. 
uh, just cost uh, is a little bit more effective that way. We're always testing, so that's what what, what that uh, we're always testing things. So that's what's working right now. Um, so we're going to stick with that. Scrolling down here, we're going to choose our daily budget. So I'm going to stick with twenty dollars per day. That's good for me. Um, we usually recommend anywhere from ten to twenty uh, per day starting out, and then scaling from there. So we're going to stick with this. Don't mess with all this, especially if you're new. We're going to click continue here. And then this is where we're actually going to create our ad. So I like to call this um, whatever it is. So this is actually going to be a pre-listing. And we're going to use a picture. So we're going to use an image. I like to use images or these slideshows are actually really cool now. Uh, for the pre-listing, I usually just use an image, so we're going to choose that. We're going to choose Browse, because I think I have one in here. I like to use these collages. Um, previous videos, I showed you how to use Canva.com. It's really simple. Um, if you haven't seen that, go back. I'll link that below as well. Um, watch that, and then come back here. Um, and then what we're going to do is we're going to actually just say, hey, this is a pre-listing see it before it hits the market. So this is not on Zillow, it's not on Realtor.com, and you can even say that in your copy, right? So you can say, not Zillow, Realtor, you know, something like that, where you're saying, hey, this is nowhere else. You can just see that here. And then we're just gonna say, hey, tap learn more to get the price, location, and more pictures. And then I like to just have a few bullet points on what the actual property is, right? And then scrolling down here, we're going to say headline. So let's just say four bedroom home. This place is awesome. Boom. Easy enough, right? You can play with the different headlines. Um, it's really not that difficult. You can even say, hey, pre-listing, see it before it hits the market. It's really as simple as that, right? From there, uh, you're just going to scroll down and this is where we're going to get into the lead form side of things. So um, we're just going to duplicate one of these. I'm going to call this listing 123 Main Street. And then we're going to click on the questions and this, this should all be very similar. So click on the questions, say enter your info below to get instant access to price photos and location of this home we're going to say full name email phone number then on the thank you page we're going to do very similar right um, in future videos i'm going to go over the thank you page stuff how we implement facebook messenger into all of our campaigns and then lastly i showed you i told you guys that i was going to tell you about a little bit of retargeting strategy so with all of the listings that you do you should do two to three retargeting ads on top of that, right? So if you've got this pre-listing, the next one should be, hey, um, you know, this is actually live in the market. This is a featured listing. The next one could be a price reduction. The next one could be an open house. And the next one could be a last chance ad, right? So you've got three, four different ads, and you continue that person along those three ads, those three, four ads, until they kind of get that final um, decision to actually enter their name, email, and phone number or not. Um, and we can also do that with Facebook Messenger. We can shoot them, hey, this is, we've got an open house coming up in a week, or hey, we've got a price reduced home, or whatever it is, right? So you really want to take them through the process. You don't want to just do one listing and leave it at that, right? So if you do a little bit more work, then you will probably get a higher conversion rate Right, so instead of getting one to two percent conversions, you could get three, four, five percent conversions. So I hope that helps, guys. If you like this video, make sure that you subscribe, and I look forward to seeing you in the next video.